Hello and uh, welcome to a new video. This time uh, we will talk about um, Sonar Cube. Now, just before we begin, uh, I would like to tell you that um, only 4% of you which are watching this type of videos, they are subscribed to the channel. So um, if you enjoy this type of content, if you want more of this type of content, uh, make sure you subscribe down below. It's free at no cost. Uh, like and share the video now if you help the channel to grow for sure there will be more videos like this in the future sonar cube it provides um, a code quality and code security analysis uh, to some extent it's uh, open source and uh, except the fact that uh, it does uh, quality and code analysis it can show you the bugs test coverage duplications um, coding rules and uh, architecture you can even uh, do ci cd integration like uh, being able to integrate uh, sonar cube with uh, jenkins uh, github azure devops bitbucket and uh, some others but Except this, it can also do manual code analysis. Like for example, if you have a specific uh, uh, code, it can check that one as well. It supports up to 27 of uh, programming languages. Uh, if we were gonna click on this one, we were gonna see all of them. So these are all the uh, coding languages uh, that uh, it supports. Here we can see the um, some details about the workflow and CI CD, uh, what you can do with it, with what you can integrate it, and so on. There is also some uh, uh, recommended reading about Sonar Cube, so if you uh, feel free, you can uh, do that. I'm not going to cover it here. Now, except this, um, uh, Sonar Cube can help from a, a testing point of view, from a developing uh, point of view. Uh, as well as uh, architecture, software architecture, and uh, project management, because uh, it can provide metrics and so on. Early on, I said that um, Sonar Cube is uh, free or open source uh, to some uh, extent, and um, here you can see uh, all the editions and uh, some differences between them. If you'd like to learn more uh, about um, each and every edition uh, feel free to go uh, on uh, their website and uh, check it out as an overview for uh, sonar cube and uh, its uh, use you you can see this uh, workflow on how the things are getting done or what you can achieve with sonar cube uh, makes no sense for me to tell you more about it uh, since it's um, already here in uh, their documentation and uh, you can go to docs.sonarcube.org uh, slash latest regarding the components and uh, architecture of uh, sonar cube uh, this is the um, this is how the sonar cube uh, should look like uh, for a single instance we can see that uh, the main part it's um, uh, on this sonar cube server uh, it's, uh, it has three parts, a web server, a compute engine, and a search server. And uh, then you have a database server. Except this one, you um, uh, also need the scanner that um, analyzes the codes. So in the next videos, uh, I will show you how you can install a SonarCube server, uh, the database of it, uh, and uh, the SonarCube scanner. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next tutorials.